There's not been a lot of truth telling at the moment on Coronation Street. Just put it mildly, yes. Just put it mildly. Um, so obviously the truth always out, and it's that's kind of what's going on at the moment. And aside to Jude that people maybe haven't seen before, um, or maybe even didn't see coming, because he's always kind of been this little bit of, um, I guess, especially with with trying to find his mom, finding her. Becoming, you know, becoming a part of her family, something he's always wanted, and then all of a sudden, the the reality that he had created for himself is is falling away. So, yeah, so there's quite a little bit coming up at that point. So, do you think his lies are, you know, sinister, or is that put, putting it a bit too strongly? I don't. If I'm honest, I don't think it's sinister. I just think it's a a case of he just. He need whatever whatever it is he thinks uh, is happening or going on. He, he wants to do anything he can to protect that. Um, he, he, he's a compulsive liar. It's you know it's not really intentional. Um, in a, it, with with malice, it's more a case of I just have to make sure that this you know this is this is happening. And and I think ultimately there's always going to be victims in a situation like that. Um, I actually feel more for Mary than I do for Angie because she's had this amazing, you know, revelation. This 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 man has come into her life and said, "I'm your son," and she's like, you know, not only got a son but got a grandson as well. So she's able to relive those years that she missed when she gave her son away um, under horrendous circumstances. So it's almost like that's that for me is a harder story. It, for me personally, it's a harder story uh, between Jude and Mary than it is for Jude and Angie. But you will see it all. You will see it all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you think there is any hope for their marriage, or not really by this point? Um, I'd like, I'd love for them to work it out. I, I'm a romantic, so I would love for uh, for them to fix things and for them to have that family unit. And George, for ultimately to have his parents around, you know, single parents absolutely smash it out of the park all the time. So that's not the issue at all. But it's just. I think it's difficult because it's become a new way of life for all of them, you know, being away in South Africa and they're not from South Africa but they moved out there for work and built a life out there and now they're coming back and, and she's sacrificed quite a lot really um, in order for him to have this relationship with his mum and with the child so I think that, yeah, ultimately I would love for them to work it out, but I don't know if the trust can be repaired. I don't know if uh, it's gone too far, especially with everything that's going on at the moment with Roy. That's a whole new, yeah, that's a whole new story. So, but yeah, it's uh, next next month. I think there'll be a lot, a lot more to come out, and you'll see a lot more then. Just finally, our readers are obsessed with the idea of Angie and Adam Barlow. <laughs> I mean, would you like them to get together properly? Um, Ultimately, Angie is still married, and um, I personally think that you shouldn't really ever jump relationship to relationship if you can help it. Also, if you find somebody and they just tick all the boxes and you're like, oh my God, are you blown away? Then go for it. And I do think that that, is hap that does happen. Um, whenever Angie and Adam are together, there's chemistry, sparks fly. Um, but I just think that she probably should have a little time to focus on, on her and George and what's best for them. Um, I do think that they match quite well and he puts her in a place which I think she needs after wearing the trousers for so long so we will see <laughs>